Good night, good night, everyone. Just tonight, got a skill and got a skill all the time. My name is Irma Jails Chris Divine. I'm here to give you a uh, word on tonight, and it's on um, the title is gonna be Isaac and Rebecca. You know, just gonna be um Abraham gonna send his servant to um to um find Isaac a wife. You know, he all grown up now. But first, we left off at yesterday. Uh, we left off at several head died. And um Abraham uh and she she died a, a, a long and prosperous life, you know, a hundred and twenty seven years old. She you know, that that was a long time. That was a long prosperous life. Abraham tried to find uh uh buy a land in a cage for the bury the site to bury cellar. You know, so uh Abraham don't like no hands on because they kept telling him you could bury whatever, whatever part you want at, in anywhere. You know, he don't like handouts. You, you know, he wants to purchase the land. You know, so now Abraham have his servants. You know, to today package is um, Abraham have his servants to find Isaac a wife. Now Isaac is all grown. You know, they believe in being married. You, you know, so he he will he. You know, Abraham is old now. You know, so he can't be running around. Going, uh, you know, so he that's why he's sending his servants, you know, to um go and find um uh, Isaac a wife. So this page is gonna come from Genesis chapter 24, 1 to 67. You know, so now this is gonna be a long pack package, so bear with me. So now um Isaac is grown, you know, Abraham is now very old, so that's why he gotta send his servants to do everything now. And the Lord had blessed him in every way. You know, he's old now. And God had to bless him in every way, all kind of ways. His offspring going to be blessed. You know, so now Abraham's servant, you know, who in charge of all that he had. You know, so the servant in charge of everything that Abraham had now. He's old, so the servant taking care of everything. Now, he told his servants to put your hand under his thigh to square by the law that you will not get a Canaanite um, woman among who they live with now on the land now. You know, so you know they living in Canaan. You know, but he he done the oath um that God had told him don't let Isaac um marry no woman uh, a Canaanite um woman. You know, so um Abraham still sticking to that. So he told his servant uh, go find him a wife but do not find him a wife on this land here. No canonized um, woman. You know, go to my old town, where my father old uh, town at, and find Isaac a perfect wife. You know, so Abraham said, go out to the country and his own relatives and get a wife for his son Isaac. Now we see that Isaac is grown. He ready for a wife. And we see that Abraham is old and his wife had departed. You know, so all he have to help is his servants you know so sarah is gone it's all he have is his servants to uh to help him around the house now the servant who is in charge and everything you know that he owned he wanted his servant to swear you know that he would not find a wife for his son in the land that they're living in but out of uh, in in a country by his own relatives you know that's who he want him to find his wife at. Cause just like he say, um, uh, just like he say, um, uh, several his sister, several really was his, was his sister. That's that's why he's sending ice over there to his family. You know, down the line, you know, um, uh, Rebecca is kin to his his brother, um, wife's sister. You, you know, so they all is kind of kin in some kind of way. And, you know, just like I had put out a couple of times before. Abraham, when, when he was explaining to the king why he said Sarah, his sister, because the king said, well, why? Why you lie and say Sarah, his sister? So he explained to him, Sarah really is his sister for real. You know, and he wind, is his sister in, uh, in his his father family. You know, that's what, that's what he means. But in some kind of way, they all still sister. I mean, family. You know, so the servant is worrying about if the woman unwilling to come back with him to this land, no matter what Abraham said, make sure you don't come back with a Canaanite woman. You know, so God promised him an oath 
that his offspring that I will give this land, he will send his angel before you uh, that you can't get a wife for his son. You know, so we're going to see down the line. This sermon is going to be real small. You know, when you have a, t- a tough choice to make, who are you going to call for that, that direction? God. Remember, Abraham made it over with his servant to swear not to find a wife in the land of Canaan. You know, so the servant said, if the woman is unwilling to come back with him, then what? So Abraham said, then you'll be released from the older mind. Just don't come back. So he started, he started hooked on um, that, please don't give my son no wife, no Canaanite wife. You know, no matter what you do, if somebody don't come back with you, still don't get a, a, a Canaanite woman for my son. So now Abraham is making another over his servant to put his hand under his thigh. So when you put your hand under his thigh, that's the oath, uh, that's the oath that you're making with uh, with one another, you know, to him concerning this matter. You know, so this is the second time. You know, so uh, he had told him, he said, if the woman is unwilling to come back, then you're going to be released from this oath that we made together. So then a servant left, um, taking with him 10 camels, loaded up all kinds of goods uh, from his from his master. So he loaded everything up and getting ready to go and find Isaac a wife. So the servant on his way to the town, a Nehor, um, Nehor, and now the servant in the town of Nehor near to where well outside the town. And it's evening in the town, the time, the uh, it is time when the women come draw the water, you know. So now the servant, now the servants, um, saying he's near, he in net net Nehor. Hall. He in that whole um, town, so he outside the town um, waiting for whatever woman that come out there, you know, uh, to draw the water. You know, so now the servant did a small move. He prayed to God for guidance. So Abraham making another oath. Uh, so he taking the goods and he taking everything with him. You know, so now, uh, now the servant, you know, move. Uh, he prayed to God for guidance, and he want one other woman to show kindness. And if the woman say, "Please let down your jaw, that I may, um, uh, may have a drink," and she said, "Drink," um, uh, and I will water your camels too. You know, so if this, if, if any one of these women come out there and say these things, showing kindness. You know that gonna be the woman for um Isaac. So let her be the one you have chosen for your servant Isaac. But this um you know that she has shown kindness to your master. You know so now the uh so now the servant did pray. He prayed to God. You know so the servant on the he on the town and he had prayed to God. And now when you have a tough choice choice to make. That's, that's what you want to do. You don't want to pray to God, especially if you don't have discernment, you know. So you don't want to pray to God and make it, make your uh, your journey very successful. So now we see the servant had got instruction from God, you know. So God had to give him these instructions. If the woman come out there, you, you know, and show you kindness and, and lower her, her jaw um, to, uh, to give you water and also water your um Give your camels on um, some water to drink. That's the one woman for you for um for Isaac. You know, so he got instruction from God, you know, to choose the right woman for Isaac. So now he was still praying. Now he's still praying. Now God is good. Before he had finished praying, you know, Rebecca came out with her jaw on her shoulder. You know, and sometimes, sometimes, you know, we can pray, God, God answer you quick sometimes. You know, he was still praying. And before he can stop, before he can finish praying, Rebecca came on outside, and, you know, and he was watching. He was monitoring her. You know, he, he realized that's the one for Isaac. 
So the woman was very beautiful, a virgin. No man had ever slept with her, and she went down to the spring, filled her jar, and came up again. So he watching her. He monitoring, you know, because he the one had to find this woman for Isaac. You know, he got instruction from God. You know, so the servant hurried to meet her and said, please give me a little water, you know, from your jar. You know, so drink mine. You know, drink mine. You know, the Lord, she quickly lowered the jar. You know, just an in, in instruction on um, God had given her. If the woman come out there and lower the jar um, to her hands and give him a drink, you know, and then she draw the water for his camel. Now, just all the instruction that God had given her, this is what the woman is doing, you know, uh, until they have had enough to drink. Now, now she didn't get on so much water, water until they have enough to drink. So now this woman is showing kindness and give him water and his camel, you know, and that's just what uh, that's just what God had instructed. So the servant had watched; he was watching her closely, you know, to learn whether or not the Lord had made this very journey successful, you know. Because see, when you you pray to God. You know, you pray to pray to God for guidance. He he was he was getting. He said God had given him a journey successful. You know, because he he didn't he was scared that he wasn't gonna find the right woman for um Isaac. You know, so he prayed to God. God gave him direction, and before he can finish praying, Rebecca came on out. You know, so now the servants. You know who um who. Now the servant asked her, "Who is your uh the daughter you are? Who daughter you are? You know, can we uh spend a night here?" Now he gonna ask the um young woman, "Who are who who daughter are who daughter are you?" And then then can we uh spend a night there? You know, so uh she us uh, the da- daughter of a B- and um and she said yes. Now we have plenty of room. You know, and she said, uh, as well as um, room for you to spend the night. Now, he also gave her gold nose, uh, ring, weight in two golds, and, and bracelet. it. Give her all kinds of stuff, all kinds of jewelry. You know, so the servant bowed down and worship the law who has, has abandoned his kindness and faithfulness to his master. Now, as for me, the law had led me on a journey to the house of my master Rastus, you know, you know, so God led him over there, gave him instruction, what kind of woman going to come out there, if that woman come out there and do these things that I told you that she going to do, that's the woman for, um, for Isaac, you know, so now the young woman rang and told her mother household about these things, Rebecca have a brother named Lambert, remember, remember uh, her brother went, um, uh, when Jacob stole Esau um um blessing, uh his mama had sent him over there by her brother house, man. So that's who her brother is. Now the servant gave Rebecca all kind of stuff and he watched it and he is monitoring her trying to make sure that that's the right church. You know, so her brother named Lamb, who um saw the nose, the rain, the bracelet, saw all the jewelry that the servant had given his sister. You, you know. So uh the brother what the man had did, um and he ran, he ran, you know, she she told about this man had give me all this stuff, you know. So her brother said he ran out there to see who this man is, you know. So he met he met him by the cameras and said, Um, oh, you who are blessed by the Lord, let me say, um, oh, who you out why you out here, why you out here preparing um, preparing the house, a place for the camera. So they say they uh remember he had asked could we spend a night. So now they're saying they prepare the house for you to stay. You know, so now they uh now they showing love and kindness because they know the man of the law sent him. You know, so now now they talk they're taking care of the camels and feeding and giving them water, washing their feet and everything else. They're showing all kind of love and kindness to the servant because they know he been sent by the man of God. You know, so now they wanted to feed the servant. They want to feed the servant, but he said he will not eat until uh, he have told them what he have to say. 
you know, he want to tell him what Abraham had told him. You know, so he going to tell the whole story, you know, and then he going to eat. So he said he is Abraham's servant. The Lord had blessed his master abundantly, and he had become wealthy. You know, so his master wife, Sarah, had brought him a son in old age and give him everything that he needed. Now, his master swore an oath that he must not get a wife from the daughter of Canaanites. You know, but go to the land that he lived, his father's family, and to my own came and get a wife for his son. Now he's telling his people all this here. He's telling his people um what what um what his master told him, you know, or why he's there. You know, so that's what he explained. He said, I don't want you nothing until I explain to y'all why I'm here. So now after the servant had finished talking, he said, Now if you will show kindness and faithfulness to his master, tell me, and if not, tell me so I may know which way to turn. You know, so he still, he still asking about Rebecca. You know, I come here to find this perfect woman for um for my master's son. You know, so be doing all this talking. You asking me if I want to eat, but I need to go on my way with this one. Can I have this woman here to bring back with me? You know. You need to tell me one way or another, you know. So Rebecca's brother, Lamb, answered, you know, this is from the Lord. Now, we can't say nothing to you one way or another, you know. So here is Rebecca. He said, he go, Rebecca, take her, go, and let her become the wife of your master's son, as the Lord had directed. You know, so the servant heard what um this said. He bowed down to the ground before the law, and then the servant brought our golds and silver. Brought our golds and silver. You know, so he he good and he he treating he treating out very well. He giving out all kind of golds and silver. You, you know, so um. Uh, so now the servant heard what they said. He bowed down to the ground before the Lord, and the Lord brought her all kind. The servant brought all kind of um, um, all kind of jewelry, you know, gold and silver, you know, expensive clothes. And he not only give her gifts, he give the mother and the brothers gifts also, you know. He just was showing love and kindness to them, you know. So now we see the brother say, um, take her. And let her be your master's son wife. Then a servant give her gold and silver, get a brother and mother gift. And remember, the servant said he would not eat until he talk, uh, and tell his story of why he here. You know, so now he finished talking, and now him and the men are eating and drinking, and they also spent a night. You know, so um, so the next day he spent the night. So the next day he ready to go on his way with this beautiful woman to bring to his master. He is excited that he found the perfect woman for um the master's son. So now now he he got up the next day, you you know uh to be on his way, you know. So but the brother and the mother they replied. They said, "Let the young woman remain with us for ten days, and then you may go." You know, so he thinking he gone on his way, you know. But then the mother and the brother said, no, you can't go right now. You you got to wait 10 days, and then you can go on your way. So now we see the mother and the brother not letting her go right, right, right then and there. You know, let her stay 10 days, and then you can take her and go. You know, but the servant said, do not detain me. Let me on my way. Uh so um so the mother said let me ask ask her what she want to do you know so they're fussing about rebecca you know they're fussing about rebecca the uh the servant said let me let me go on my way and with her you know and then the mother and the brother like well uh oh no let's wait let ask her what she what she think you know so they're fussing over her so they decide let let her uh speak let her say what she want to do. So they called the young woman and they asked her about it. And they asked Rebecca, do you want to go with this man? You know, so she said, yes, I would go. 
you know, she said yes, yeah, she would go. So they sent their sister, Rebecca, on their way, along with her nurse, you know, the servant and the man, and they blessed Rebecca and sent um and, and said and said to her, Our sister, may you increase to thousand upon thousand. May your offspring possess, you know, um the city of the enemy and now the servant took Rebecca and left. You know, because you know Rebecca's going to be blessed. She's going to have that. She's going to have a, she gonna have a promised child. She's going to have twins. They're going to be nation. You know, so she, that's why he said, let your own, um, your, your increase to thousand upon a thousand. You know, may your offspring possess the city of the enemy. You know, because she's going she gonna to get pregnant and going to have twins. You know, so Isaac was living in, in Never. And he, he, he went out to the field to meditate, but then he looked up, you know, he saw the camels approaching him, and Rebecca also looked up and saw Isaac, you know. She going to see that handsome man up in there. She going she gonna to be like, well, who is that? Who is that in the field? You know, he going to notice her, and she going to notice him, you know. So, and she saw Isaac. And she got down. She heard me got down from that camel. She saw that man in that field. She got down off that camel. And she asked, who is that man in the field coming to meet us? You know, so he is my master, son. And she took her, she took her veil off. She took her veil and covered herself up. You know, because remember, she a virgin. So when she come around men, you know, they'll know she a virgin when she cover her face up. You know, so the servant told Isaac all he had done, and Isaac brought her into the tent of his mother's cell. You know, he loved his mother. You know, so he wanted to marry this woman right where his mother at to make like his, the, you know, to have to have his mother present, and you know, at his wedding. You know, he wanted his mother presence to be there. You know, so then he married Rebecca. So she become his wife, and he loved to her. So I mean, he loved to her at first sight, you know. So Isaac was comfortable after his mother's death, you know. He done found that perfect wife, and now he feel comfort. He got that comfort in his heart now, you know. First it was by himself, you know. He was, you know, lonely, you know. Him, he was just him and his dad, and his mama was gone. So, um. Uh, so one, Abraham sent his servant to his own town to find Isaac a wife. Two, um, he instructed not to find his, uh, uh, his wife in Canaan. You know, three, we see that the servant called on God for guidance and his journey was very successful. You know, so four, when a woman, when a woman um, come out, see God had given him instruction. When a woman come out, and draw some water, and she show kindness, you know, by give him water, and, and water, give your camel water, you know, that's the woman for ice, you know, so Rebecca was that woman that came out and showed love and kindness, you know, so far, I just saw her, and he loved her at first sight, and married her in a tent with his mother, so he can have the presence of his mother at his wedding. So where his mother lay to rest. Now all uh, six. The servant had found a perfect wife for Isaac after he called, after he prayed to God for guidance. And God had helped him find that perfect um wife for Isaac. Now the first thing the servant did was very small. He called on God. You know, and that's what we have to do. You know, he had a hard choice to make. You know, he was worried as he was he was he was on that camera traveling to go find Isaac White, you know. So he 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 prayed to God. He prayed to God for guidance, you know, to help him on his journey, to help him find a perfect wife for um Isaac, you know, and God did just that. Before he can finish praying, um Rebecca Hannah came on out. Came on out. And, and she had to hurry up and put a veil on because remember she a virgin. So when you're a virgin and you around a man, you have to cover it up so they'll know you're a virgin. You know, so his journey was very successful. He found the perfect wife for Isaac because he done prayed and, 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 and prayed to God. You know, so the servant had 
to make a, a hard choice, but he called on God to make that perfect choice, you, you know. So his journey was successful. You know, he can go home happy, you know, and, and return back to his master that he not found that perfect wife for Isaac. You know, so this story was about Isaac and Rebecca. You know, Isaac and they got all grown, you know, you know, and it was time for him to get a wife because, you know, Abraham, you know, his 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 mother had died old age, and you know, Abraham much older than her. You know, so it was time for him to hurry up and find Isaac White before he passed. You, you know, so um the servants I did find the perfect wife, he consulted with God first and made his journey very successful. So that's all the word I have for you on today. And I see you on the next video. Have a blessed night.